You have only weak masks. Listen, you want to see how weak our masks are? Have you not heard of this little mask called, um, oh, I don't know, Zora mask? Uh, also, be prepared to be creeped out. This is pretty creepy. First of all, let's be a little Zora Link. Anybody else gonna be doing any Black Friday shopping? I won't. Thankfully, I don't have any kids or anything. I don't know. Maybe... No, I don't think I will. I prefer to wait until things have kind of dialed down a little bit. But I know if you want the best deals. You know, I know a lot of people... I think a lot of people go shopping on Black Friday and they don't even think about what they're looking for. We're just like, hey, we're just going to go because things are cheap. We're going to find something. We're just going to start grabbing stuff. As long as it's a good deal. Check this out, dude. Crap. I screwed that up. But, I mean, you've got infinite boomerang. This guy over here. Oh, and thank you for coming to these uh, Majora's Mask streams. I know we've been doing this for, shoot, almost all year. I mean, not really, eight months maybe. It has all come to this one point. You all, we're, we're gonna finish the story. Um, I think the ending is like 15 minutes itself. But look at this. Look how... Now, granted, there's multiple forms, if you didn't know. But this mask is usually hard to take down. But this boomerang is so easy. Like, because you have to hit it from behind. Uh, shut up. But, uh... With the boomerangs? It doesn't matter. I told you, we're going to be cheap, you all. We're going to be cheap. Okay, now I need some arrows. So I'm pretty sure in this pot right here... There are some arrows. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... Oh, wrong button. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these guys. I don't like them. Because they try to shoot projectiles at me. God dang it, I can't see it. Oh, he's coming. Oh! No, this game is just genius. It's genius in so many ways. And the fact that it was built in like a year just amazes me. It goes to show you with, you know, I, I, I guess, I think it goes to show you how much time you can save by already having your game, your engine, and your assets built, which really makes you think about Tears of the Kingdom. You know, it's like, dude, if it's been taking them this long for Tears of the Kingdom and they haven't had to rebuild the physics, I mean, hopefully they've added more physics. Hopefully they've added all kinds of stuff, perfected it. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, if they haven't done all that, like, I wonder what they've been working on this whole time. Hopefully a whole lot. At this point, has it been in development longer than Breath of the Wild? Or almost the same? The Skyward Sword. It was six years. It's so weird to believe it was only six years. It was six years, Skyward Sword to Breath of the Wild. Although it didn't feel way longer. I guess because Breath of the Wild has been like relevant for so long. Mountain. Seventeen, dude. That's five years ago now. Be just about the same amount of time. So they didn't have to build a. Uh, they didn't have to build a physics engine. Okay. One thing I did notice. If this thing does its little beam where it shoots a little fire out of its eyes or whatever, my Zora will die in 
one hit. Oh, he never even got that far. He never even got that far. Dude, we beat him up so bad he never got to where he shot fire. Okay, what? <clears throat> this method, Majora's Incarnation. The way I do this one, and I'm using the um, 8 bit do ultimate controller. If y'all want to see my review on this, I am currently still editing it. Check out my YouTube channel if y'all haven't seen that Switch unboxing. I unbox all things into the Switch as much as I can. And yeah, I'm editing a video about this one. I'm going to go very in depth comparing it to a whole bunch of controllers you might be familiar with, like the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, Power A, the uh, 8 bit do Pro 2. Anyway, one thing I can say I like about these is the, like, the plus and minus button. It's easy to click. I know where I'm going with those. Uh, versus on the on the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, um, I don't know which buttons I'm pressing. Like, it's hard to tell. What controller do you all use? Um, I, I When I'm playing the this game, I like to use something like this because at least it makes me feel like I've got more of a controller in my hand. Like, it's like a little closer to N64 than like the Joy-Con are. Uh, but anyway, for this, this form, I'm gonna go into Deku, because check this out. Should be Deku. Cause he, you know, he wants to do ballerina stuff. Okay. Didn't know he's doing the moonwalk, dude. It cracks me up. It reminds me of that key of- Stop it. That's the only downside. Uh, oh yeah. See that one? God, dude. Ground. <laughs> okay, he doesn't always shoot- Oh, wow. Dude, he doesn't- Sometimes he doesn't even ever go with projectiles. He do it the whole time now. Wow. But this is a good reason of- Oh my- Dude, I'm telling you, it's like- RNG, what? This must be the easiest form, by the way. This actually might be the form where I actually need to use a potion. This is- This is weird, because this is supposed to be the easiest form, dude. Start doing something, me, dude. Oh, this is so weird. Oh. What's he doing? This is just a. Uh, this is just proof that the mask is a troll. Like, the mask is just a... It's just a, uh, a being. It's just an evil being that just likes to mess with people. You know, that's why, like, they stole my... Uh, the, he, he, that's why the mask stole Epona. That's why the mask, um... Stole, or, like, turned Kathy into a child, you know? Which makes it one of my, uh... One of my favorite villains in Zelda. Rolling off. We got a lot of potions, don't worry, though. Not potions, but these fairies. When you get hit down to zero, the fairies revive you. Hey, if we die, die, then, uh, then that's fine. I'll have to restart, it's okay. This is so weird how it's, it's going ham with the projectiles. Y'all, the actual hard part... The actual hard part is where you can be just cheapest. Uh, you're about to see here in a little bit. This actually isn't even really the actual boss yet. I mean, it is, but it's it's really not. I don't know, does anybody know what's coming up next? It ain't gonna be pretty. Okay. Now this is the real, this is the actual boss. Now, once we beat this, I don't know what's happening. I have not seen this ending in 20, 
in 20 years, my friends. I have not seen this ending in 20 freaking years. I'm excited. Keep in mind everything that we have seen in this game so far, because it's going to all tie in together. It's going to all come together here in just a little bit. Here we go. All right, Zora time. Look how cheap this is. Because first of all, Zora Link's shield, it's not like modern games. It makes him pretty invincible from just a shield. Second of all, look what happens with this, with this energy thing. If we want to be super cheap, You can literally, you don't even have to attack. This is the final boss of the game, mind you. You can literally just do this. What's more, what's more is this milk, the Romani's milk, it makes it to your energy is limitless. You can hold down this button for the rest of the entire match and not use up any resources at all. And when it kicks you away, that's one of the hardest things when it kicks you away. But when you're Majora's, when you're uh, Zora, with this thing, it doesn't matter if it kicks you. Like, it hurts it to get kicked. Now, one of the OP attacks of this is when it grabs you. Well, guess what? When you're when you're Zora Link and you use the energy thing, it can't grab. If it grabs you, this electrocutes it. Yeah. Don't know what to do, do you? So that is why I told you all this is beating Majora's Mask in the cheapest way possible. There may be cheaper ways. I will tell you that. Okay. I know there's somebody out there who's who's better than this. More efficient and faster than this. In fact, under that second bot, that second re that second incarnation, um, usually it doesn't go that slowly. Okay. Now, for the rest of this, I'm gonna be not quite as cheap, just for whatever reason. Um, so once we stun it, I will attack it, just to be somewhat fair. I don't know. You can't call this fair, but. give it a chance. I don't even know if we're giving it a chance even more. Hey, I just like to see Link. I just like to see, uh, you know, however you say it, Miku. Zora Link. I just like to see, uh, I just like to see him doing kicks. I like to see his little kicks. His moves, dude. Look at that, dude. That's such a sick looking villain. Like it's made out of the mask. Is this a, I don't even know if this is supposed to be Majora itself, or if this is some type of like being that it can, it can conjure. Now I know there's a manga. I'm pretty sure there's a manga. So there's a lot of like different backstories to it. Yo, why is this, I, I don't know why this is allowed to be so broken. I mean, Granted, like I said, to get the Ro Romani's milk, I think I think it has to be uh, you have to have the milk mask, the cow mask. So granted, that is a little hard to get. I mean, it takes a. Little, I mean, yeah. Remember how? Remember how much we stressed out over the uh, the little aliens or the ghosts, or whatever that we're trying to you know steal the cows and stuff. So yeah, that was really stressful. I'll give you that. We had to restart time a lot. So getting this milk isn't really like the easiest thing in the world, but I mean, it kinda is. A lot easier than getting every mask in the game, which I wanted to do, but I don't think we just, I we didn't have time to do that. Because I mean, oh, whoops, I forgot to hold down B. If you get every mask in the game, you can trade them in at the end at this last kind of world this last area and you can literally get a mask that, i mean it would be cool to see the fierce deities mask so it like i don't even remember exactly what it turns you into but it allows you to shoot okay you shoot projectiles from your sword so just simply striking your sword it shoots 
beams of light. Kind of like, if I to recall correctly, I think it's kind of like uh, Breath of the Wild's, um, you know, uh, Master Sword, where it shoots things out at it, which is like from like the first, one of the first Zeldas, maybe the first one or the early games. Um, you know, in your full hearts. But, um, I can't think of infinite magic. What does it do? I, I think it makes it sort of like, see what I mean? Look at that. Even that move. Even that move. It's so cheap. I can't believe that little kid was just like, you have only weak mass. It's like, bro. Why don't you eat your words? And you know what, that, that's, and we didn't even need to upgrade the sword, because I was wondering too, I was like, dude, I need to upgrade my sword, and should I just get the gilded sword, or should I get the freaking full upgrade? And, uh, you know what, we're not going to use the sword much. Actually, actually I never used this, I never used the sword. This game is just so smart how the whole thing takes place in three days, and it's so cool that you, um, just the whole, like, milk thing, the side quest and everything. Uh, another cool thing I noticed, too, like, jumping into this part, so the world resets every three days, right? But Link really doesn't. Like, Link can time travel, and so does his fairy with him. So when you get to that final, the second time you get to that final moon cutscene, it's slightly different. I just realized that last night because I thought I was going to watch the same exact cutscene, right? Because, like, it looks just the same cutscene. But originally, um, originally your fairy, if I remember correctly, like, last week, and I can pull it up, obviously, but the fairy, like, uh, yeah, I'm going to drink this potion so it doesn't sound annoying. But, you know, usually your fairy, or last time your fairy said, like, uh, like, hey, you can play the Song of Time right now. Let's just do this. You, there's nothing you can do. Play the Song of Time. Let's just restart time and try it again. But this time, and then you, and the Link just jumps inside the moon's mouth no matter what. But in this time, she doesn't say, just play the Song of Time. She says, well, are you going to jump in? Like, she's, she knows. She already knows. And then, like, when she's talking to her other fairy, they have dialogue between each other. Um, but the second time you go to play the boss, she already knows what the other fairy's gonna say. And the other fairy's like, what? How'd you know that? And that's it! That's how you beat the final boss, Majora's Mask, by being completely cheap.